Hello there, it's Caroline here. In this video I'm going to show you how I went about painting my little terracotta flower pot. Firstly I covered it in gesso just to prime the terracotta surface which is fairly porous and then I was working out how I was going to hold the pot without getting my hands covered in paint so I thought if I attach a a plastic cup inside and I attached it with blue tack round the top and it did actually work I can report and it didn't fall out and I wasn't covered in paint so the blue tack just keeps it in position and it's something that you can hold the flower pot with while turning the, the pot round and pouring the paint over it so we're still paint pouring as such I got these little flower pots from Amazon, a pack of 10, and they weren't really expensive. I think they were worked out about a pound or so each, but they're really cute. I did uh, put masking tape on the base of the flower pot, uh, just as I didn't want to paint. On, well, obviously there's a little hole for the water to come out, so I didn't want paint on the bottom. So that's, that was how I prepped the flower pot. So here we are ready to go with my paints and you can't really see the consistency I'm afraid but it was, uh, it formed a small mound when you lifted it in the pot like that, just coming off the paint, the, uh, the stick, just a small mound. I wanted it just a little bit thicker than I normally would use to stick to the flower pot. So I was using really bright colours. I had my uh, normal coral that I like there in various shades of blue and I'll have them all itemised down in the description box. It's a lovely soft green which is actually a Naples yellow green from Amsterdam. I think it may be a new colour but it's really nice. So what I did was layered the colours in a separate cup. This is the dirty pour method where you just layer the colours all together and then just pour them all on in, in one go. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to get the paint um, around the flower pot but it was all experimenting as usual with me. I've got all my plants, I don't have a garden, so I've got all my little plants out in the balcony. And some little bright pots like these would just brighten it up lovely. So here we go. This is definitely okay. How am I going to do this? So, yep. And just sort of sloshing it on here. So it doesn't really matter if it goes over the base because I can take the uh, masking tape off. So it did work quite well holding it with my plastic, the plastic pot inside. And actually, there were actually some little cells that uh, were that popped up, which was quite nice. I didn't use any silicone. In any of the paint and then I just with my finger just tapped around the very top of the flower pot just to sort of finish finish off the top edge and I quite like that it seemed a bit bright a bit different so this is the dried result which I put one of my violas in and it seems quite happy and then all that paint that had fallen off onto the kitchen roll I put it on my silicone mat and dried it so I can use that in another project so bye for now and see you next time